repeat the process. I'm not going to glue, I'm going to put my fletch in, hopefully find the right measurement again, a bit high. And then add my glue on, there we go, right on there. <coughs> Beading, your question sir, sorry. So Did that answer your question? Uh, yeah. Sure. Just, just want to uh, find out, I mean, so the drag glove would give you more of a long distance. Is there, so if it's a 20 meter distance, does that make a difference? Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, so, so, so that bit I forgot. So you want, um, so let me give you an example distance exactly okay whereas with veins they kind of slice through the air a bit more okay I have seen some arrows with four fletches on still shoot well still shoot nice good stability um, you just have to know what distance you're shooting six fletched arrows are never really for competition they're what we call for flu flu arrows flu flu are for hunting Sparkers. so Sparkers and more reads. yeah, yeah. Not really. You kind of see it like it, like Bill was saying in movies and stuff like that, where it, it, it looks very pretty. You've got like six fletches on there, but they're super slow. So there's one discipline that they use them for training in, in um, I guess, not just Turkish archery, but traditional uh, archery is where they have it for this game called Kabak. So Kabak is where you have a horse archer who's galloping along and they have to shoot a target which is about nine meters on the end of a pole. And as they're galloping, they can only shoot it within a certain area underneath that pole. If they didn't have all that drag, their arrow would go way high in the air and then they wouldn't necessarily see it, it'd be dangerous. When you shoot a six fletched arrow, the arrow will go quick, quick, quick and slow down immediately, start to turn round because the heavy tip and then it will just drop down like that. So if they miss, it comes back down. That's really the only reason they have a six fletch one. Question? So you say when you put a knack on, you want to remove these. Ah, I forgot to do the top and tailing on these two. So let me do that now. Again, just a couple of drops. Once you put that, the, the glue on the front of the fletch, it will run down the base. Okay, so there's my arrow, okay, tip, knock, fletches, okay, so here's my arrow, look, it's nearly, it's, it's kind of, they look really pretty, they've got what we call, um, also a word we've used today, cresting, cresting is when you colour the shaft, okay, just looks good, oh, okay. or it differentiates your arrow from someone else's arrow. So if you're in a field shoe, for example, you might want neon wraps, neon coloured wraps, bright coloured wraps. Um, some people have wraps with their name on it. You know, does it improve flight? It's very hard to prove that. Very hard to prove. It just makes it look nice and differentiates your arrow from someone else. So I said, if people did have felt tips or something today, they can colour their shafts or whatever. Yes? On average, how many times can you shoot that arrow before you can't use it anymore? You keep blowing until, until it breaks, really. I mean, look, as long as the straightness of the arrow is there, the knock is not broken, the tip is there, the fletches, the only thing you'll need to really maintain is either knocks or fletches. So, for example, my friend here bought an arrow. Where's your arrow that you bought? Okay? Okay. Lovely arrow. Lovely wooden arrow. But everything was good except the knock. He broke the knock. Do we chuck this in the bin? No. All we've got to do is replace that knock. And he's good to go. Mm. And we're gonna we'll do that today, hopefully. So an arrow can last your lifetime as long as you your calf trip. Yes, go on. Okay, shrink wrap electrical tape. So what I do is I'm going to find my scissors. <coughs> How are we doing for time? Three, okay, right. I'm going to cut off a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to cut off a little bit. I'm going to feed it down my arrow, as long as it fits over. Like that, it opens. 
and it should fit onto the front like that. You see that there? There's my collar, okay? It's not ready yet, but that's how it's gonna fit, okay? Shrink wrap, how do I make it shrink? Heat. Heat, okay. Now we've got to be careful here. I do have a candle. Okay, this is gonna be under supervision, all right? I'm gonna light this candle. 